It's just amazing what you can do with body, breath, and mind. What people are finding out is that not just yoga, but most of the Eastern traditions heal the whole person instead of just treating a symptom. Yoga therapy, in a nutshell, is really applying the comprehensive <laughs> principles of yoga to people who don't fit in a group class. We work one-on-one -on -one and uh, usually for some time. Flip um, is a very challenging case because she has an extreme kyphosis. So what I have to do is do something that's going to really help her but not hurt her while it's happening. So she comes in bent over, she walks out almost straight up, and I have to say that she really works at it, so that will give her always the best results. I come in with the question mark and I go out as an exclamation mark. <laughs> People start coming to yoga therapy a lot after 40. So the first thing that hits them is their back, and then their knees, you know, and then later their hips. Right. You'll get it. If you think about it, there's 120 million people that are over 40, and most of the yoga taught is for the young and restless. So this is the most underserved group until now. And start thinking about some details, like the outside edge of your back foot press. It, for me, it really helps to open up my back. And my knees are not the original equipment. I can't go through security and airports easily anymore. And I can hike like five miles. So I, I appreciate that I can do everything I can do. I just turned 80. I can't tell you how many people came to me and didn't have to do back surgery because they just followed what I said. Uh, and that's a great feeling. I took my sojourn around the world. Um, I had the fortune to meet teachers all over the world. The one that is given the credit of being most responsible for modern yoga today is the great professor Sri T. Krishnamacharya. He was the yogi for the king of Mysore. And he trained a lot of young boys. This picture marks an important period in history where Professor Krishnamacharya received his first ever Western male middle-aged student. What happened is he started to teach differently than he taught the young boys. So this was a big deal. So what he started to do is teach what he called Vini Yoga. So Vini Yoga means that you teach to the whole person based on their age, their physical abilities, their profession, you know, their psychological outlook. And that's different than he taught young boys. So the kind of principles he started to change and teach were things like more focus on breathing. The idea that the focus should be on the spine and that function was more important than form. When people go to study with a teacher in India, they really study. They're at their feet and there's not much distraction. 
in California. People are torn here. They'll go from this teacher to that teacher to this and that. Somebody else is in town, they do that. I think that's the big difference. You go to India, it's serious study. When my teacher came here, he went shopping with me at Gelson's. And he said, no wonder you're, you, you have such a hard time here. You have too many choices. Look how many apples you have to pick from, you know? The yogis feel that the gut is the seat of health or sickness. So we often start there about, you know, talk about lifestyle. And I always say, tell me about a week in your life and you'll find how many things affect the whole person. Even how you walk. The average person takes five, 10,000 steps a day. So if you improve that walk, that's just as important as what you give them on the mat. So there's yoga off the mat, yoga on the mat that are all part of yoga therapy. fulfilled and happy life then you should have your own personal yoga practice and the number one benefit of a yoga practice is reducing stress quieting in the mind that's yoga I want to stay true to the contemporary teachings of Krishnamacharya and that's what I've done his knowledge was so comprehensive that I don't think any one person ever learned everything from him. The closest was his son. But I just took a certain area and mainly about, you know, yoga and yoga therapy uh, for Western people. And that's where I focus and that, that keeps me busy for many lifetimes. <laughs>